Good evening, everyone. My name is Julia Hamilton, and I'm here today to discuss my thesis concerning mental health and the regulation of firearms in Canada. Throughout my work and research in this area, a reoccurring theme emerged to me that minor people with minor, minor mental illness aren't any more likely than individuals with, uh, without mental illness to be violent towards others, despite common misconceptions uh, among the media and general population. This finding propelled me to look more analytically at the legislative system of firearms control in Canada in order to determine whether these biases are also present among chief firearms officers and judges in this country. Chief firearms officers regulate the issuing of the issuing and regulation of firearms and as well as the uh, refusals and revocations of firearms licenses. Um, when looking at uh, various CFO and legal cases in this area, uh, some of the main themes that emerged within my data is that uh, li firearms license refusals and revocations that are based on mental health often o don't only involve mental health. There's often factors of both violent and criminal uh, occurrences as well. Um, furthermore, there seems to be an over-reliance on physician reports. Physician reports are uh, requested by CFOs when they would like to have more information on the mental status of various uh, applicants and license holders. This is problematic as it delays the system uh, of issuing firearms licenses as well as prolongs the period that an individual who all is already in possession of firearms has uh, possession or has access to their firearms. Furthermore, some conclusions drawn from my research find that CFOs and judges uh, account more for their biases in, in comparison to the general public as uh, they have dis descriptive and distinct uh, procedures in place to determine license eligibility among individuals who apply for a firearms license. Furthermore, uh, CFOs and judges seem to be fairly consistent in the way that they uh, make decisions on who is eligible to, uh, to uh, possess a firearms license. As you can see in my slide here, it just gives you a quick overview of how firearms licenses are acquired in this country. So we, we see here that they have to uh, take and pass a Canadian uh, pro firearms pro training program as well as uh, filling out an application form, which uh, then moves uh, on to the CFO, which makes a decision based on the background information of this applicant. My research has implications for further, further changes to the decision-making process of CFOs for reducing the um, delays caused by physician's reports. Thank you very much.